function ang returns the words for a positive integer n less than 1 million. We have written a return statement so the function compiles, and it returns n as a string, though not anglicized. As examples, we show the results of calling ang with arguments 1, 3, 7, 3, 4, 5, and 3, 0, 0, 2, 0, 6. We write a JUnit testing procedure before writing the function, putting in all the test cases we think we will need. We have elided some to shorten what you have to read. We're ready to think about writing the body of function ang. For small numbers 1, 2, 3, there seems to be no way to calculate the answer. If n is 1, return 1. If n is 2, return 2, and so on. Here are two questions for you. What code would you write to take care of these small n? And for what values of n would you do this? Stop the video and answer these questions for yourself. We answer question 2 first. We would process the integers in the range 1 through 19. Each has to be processed individually. There is no algorithm to calculate one from another. For question one, there is an obvious way to do it. Write a series of 19 if statements. A better way involves using a static array of size 20, each element k being the word for integer k. Then write the body of the function. An if statement to test for n less than 20. We insert the comment 20 at most n to help us remember what cases still have to be handled. Now, the first 19 test cases in our JUnit testing class should work. Note that all 19 cases are necessary. Having all 19 is the only way to make sure we spell the words 1, 2, through 19 correctly in the declaration of ang19. We're finished with n at most 19. Here's the next question for you. What is the next range of integers to process? Stop the video and figure it out. The next range of integers to process is 20 through 99. Anything larger requires the word 100. We have to split the value n in the range 20 through 99 into two pieces. For example, for n equal to 3, we need to extract the 2 and the 3 and replace them by the words 20 and 3. We can extract them using n div 10 and n remainder 10. Thus, not worrying about anglicizing yet, we write the statement to handle these integers. There's n div 10, a blank, and n remainder 10. At this point, we should test to make sure this extracts the two digits properly, but we skip it in this video. How do we anglicize n div 10 and n remainder 10? Since n remainder 10 is less than 10, we anglicize it using array ang19. For n div 10 equal 2, we want the value 20. For n div 10 equal 3, 30, and so forth. So, we introduce a second static array and rewrite the return statement. Running the JUnit testing class shows an error. Can you find it? Stop the video and think about it. Suppose n equal 20. Then the returned string should be 20, but it is 20 with a blank after it. So we rewrite the return statement using a conditional expression. Now the test case passes. It is most important that we tested before moving on to consider the case 100 at most n. The same kind of error would have happened in later code, too. Make alternating programming and testing a habit.
The next range of numbers to process is 100 through 999. The string for each of them will have the text 100 in it. For example, for n equal 3, 4, 5, the result is 345. From 3, 4, 5, we have to extract the 3 and the 45. We can do this using n div 100 and n remainder 100. Taking a cue from the previous development, and not yet anglicizing, we write the statement to return a string containing end of 100, the word 100 with a blank before it, and then either the empty string or a blank followed by end remainder 100. The value of end remainder 100 is in the range 0 through 99. How are we going to anglicize it? Stop the video and look for a function that can be used. Yes, to anglicize n remainder 100, use a recursive call on the function being written, ang. Recursion is the natural tool to use here. Since n is less than 1000, n div 100 is less than 10, so it can be anglicized using array ang19. The last range to process is 1,000 and greater, up to just below 1 million. The resulting string will contain the word 1,000. This case is quite similar to the previous case of n in the range 100 through 999, so we handle it by copying, pasting, and editing. We call ang recursively to anglicize n div 1,000. Then comes the word thousand with the blank before it. The conditional expression gives either the empty string or a blank followed by n remainder 1000, anglicized of course. That completes the development of the function to anglicize integers. Interestingly enough, it contains no assignment statements. The important points in the development were Handling one case at a time, starting with the smallest range. Testing after coding the processing of each range. Breaking the development of each case into two steps. First, figure out the pieces. For example, end of 100, 100, and the conditional expression to code end remainder 100. Second, figure out how to anglicize each piece. Here, use array ang19 for n div 100 and function ang for n remainder 100.